Hello everyone. So in this video, we will see another MCP server which is very helpful to a developer and it's a Postgres SQL MCP server. We'll use the Docker desktop to run our Docker commands and we'll use the cloud desktop for MCP client. So let's get started. So I'll open the Docker desktop and currently if you can see there is no image which are running. So I'll use this Docker command. So Docker run hyphen D P for port, D for detach, and the name of the post uh, this container that is Postgres container. Then environment variable Postgres password that is Postgres 123, and then environment variable Postgres DB that is a initial DB that is a products DB. And I'll take the image that is the latest one. So let's run it. So once it is done, then you can see the container, the Postgres container is running. If you can click over here, you can see the logs over here. Okay, ready to accept the connection. Let's check and we will go to this uh, DB grip and data source. You can use any data source client like I will choose the Postgres and I will just give the password Postgres uh, username that is Postgres and password. One two three, and here my DB is products DB. Okay, and if you check the test connection, it's working fine. I'll apply and okay. And I'll create and insert some of the data related to the e-commerce. So full fledged data tables are there. Let me run. Okay. And I can see over here all the tables has been created. Okay. All right. So now let us open the config file here, the cloud desktop config. And if you can see, if you hover there, it is uh, when you install a cloud desktop and uh, cluster desktop client then you can find c users in your username app data roaming cloud and slash cloud underscore desktop underscore config.json if you're not able to find this file you can create over there in this location or either you can edit on the cloud desktop uh, then automatically it will create a blank file all right so now what i will do is simply i'll put the configuration of the mcp server for the postgres it's a very simple you just put the Postgres, you have a command, command is a docker, then you have an argument, simple docker uh, command. So docker run i and then rm, then mcp Postgres and then you provide the Postgres database URL. That is a Postgres, that you have Postgres here. Uh, this is a username and this is a password. And this is something that if you are running on the local host, then you just provide here. And then the port number and then use the first DB. All right. You save it and then run the cloud desktop. So what I'll do is simply run this cloud desktop. So let's wait for some time until we get this image. Uh, we'll soon get another image which will be running over here. And we can see the MCP Postgres has started running. And if we go to this container and if we go over here, whether both are running, Yes, up 11 seconds, up and uh, uh, 5 minutes. That was our previous one. Okay. Now, I can query the data related to the Postgres that we have installed on our local. So, here if you can see search and tool, and here if you see that Postgres is there, now we can query. So, the first question I will ask that give me the list. list of databases in my Postgres. Let's see. And see yes. And there is a Postgres default database and then you can say products DB which is available. Okay. Now I'll ask question. What are my top 
um, customers like who which customer spends most let's see how it gives an answer let's see and it has given this value okay we have four customers now let's say if i go to the database and check in this sql uh, console and paste this query okay and let's try to run and you can see the first one is uh, sarah john jane and mike and you can see this amount they spend is from descending order okay but we get in a very we do not have to build this whole query and you can just ask in a human language and you get the answer we can do pretty much uh, another thing is it can you please create a bar chart for uh, top customers with their span okay let's see and it will start creating and it will also show the budget and you can see it's a beautiful bar chart here top customer by total span the sarah williams jane and it has given all the information like total revenue average customer revenue and bar chart if you hover there also it has given everything information a beautiful thing with the mcp survey we can do all right so that's a pretty much uh, about postgres sql server and mcp and how we can carry you can do pretty much anything you can try and that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video